This multimedia impact weather briefing is for the potential severe thunderstorm and tornado outbreak for central Alabama for the overnight hours through Wednesday. First off, it needs to be stated that the situation developing across central Alabama over the next 24 hours is still a bit complicated and largely depends on developments to our west tonight. The following slides depict what we currently consider to be the most likely scenario. Severe thunderstorms will likely move from Arkansas and Louisiana eastward across Mississippi and potentially reach Alabama after midnight tonight. There's still some question on whether the storms will consolidate into a long squall line or remain individual supercells. The most likely scenario is a slightly weakened line of storms that reaches central Alabama in the 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. time frame. Primary threats associated with this line would be damaging winds and large hail with a relatively low but not zero threat of tornadoes. Wednesday still looks like it'll be the main event for central Alabama. Again, events that transpire overnight could have a lasting impact on what exactly develops here on Wednesday. But at this time, there's still a pretty good chance that supercell thunderstorms will develop and move across central Alabama Wednesday afternoon and evening. These supercell storms would have the potential to produce strong and long-track tornadoes. There's still some uncertainty as to whether or not these supercells would also eventually merge into a single squall line. If they did, that would lessen the tornado threat, but it would actually increase the area of damaging wind threat. As of right now, the area with the greatest tornado threat is from the cities of York, Selma, Clanton, Rockford, and Heflin northward. Prime time for severe weather looks to be from noon to 6 p.m. in the northwestern counties, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the I-20, I-59 corridor, between 4 p.m. and midnight from the Selma and Montgomery areas northeastward into the cities of Wadawi, Lafayette, and Auburn, and 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the southeastern counties. Here is our relative threat chart for Wednesday, and as you can see, we've still got higher levels for all severe weather threats. Depending on how things shake out between now and then, there's still a chance we may have to move the tornado or damaging wind threat into the extreme category. In summary, it still looks like there's a threat of a multi-day severe weather outbreak in central Alabama. The threat will ramp up quickly by Wednesday afternoon and continue into the evening hours. Remember that upstream developments can have a bearing on what happens here, so please check back for updates. And finally, if you've got friends or family or coworkers that may not pay attention to the weather forecast as much as you do, please make sure that at the very least they are weather aware on Wednesday. Stay safe and have a good day.